Number 18, a moderate wind accelerates a pebble over a horizontal xy plane with a constant acceleration, vector a is equal to 5 meters per square second in the i direction, plus 7 meters per square second in the j direction. At time t equals to 0, the velocity is 4 meters per second in the i direction. What are the magnitude and the angle of its velocity when it has been displaced by 12 meters parallel to the x-axis? Okay, so in this problem over here, the acceleration is constant. You can see that the acceleration doesn't change. So the if the acceleration is constant, we can use three different equations. So I'm going to write them for one dimension and then we can convert them for two dimensions. So x equals to xo plus vot plus at squared over two. We can also use that v equals to vo plus at and v squared is equal to v o squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use, but they are written for, for one dimension only. But we can easily rewrite them for the x direction or the y direction if, if we want. So for letter a, we want to calculate the displacement in the x axis. So the displacement can be calculated using this equation for the x direction. So the equation is x equals to xo plus voxt. So notice the difference because this is just the initial velocity and this is the initial velocity in the x direction plus ax, which is the acceleration in the x direction, t squared over 2. So notice that those equations are different. This is for one dimension only. This is for two or three dimensions. Okay, so let's see. The, so, accelerate, okay, so we can say that the initial position is zero, so this goes away. The initial velocity is four in the i direction, so this is equal to four, and the acceleration is equal to five. Okay, so we have that x is equal to four t plus five t squared over 2. And we want that x to be 12. So 12 is equal to 4t plus 5t squared over 2. So we can just send this to the other side and then we find that 5t squared over 2 plus 4t minus 12 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So you can solve it the way that you, you that you know how to solve it. So there are several different ways to solve this kind of equation, but the answer is t equals to 1.53 seconds. So we know that when the clock shows us 1.53 seconds, the particle has been displaced by 12 meters in the x axis. Okay, so that's the t, that's what we need. So let's see again, what are the magnitude and the angle of the velocity? So we have to use this equation to find the velocity. So the velocity in the x coordinate is vo plus a, vox plus axt in the x coordinate, and vy is equal to voy plus ayt in the y coordinate. Okay, so this is 0, this is 4, this is 5, this is 7. So Vx is equal to 4 plus 5t, and Vy is equal to 7t. And we know that t is equal to 1.53. Okay, so this is 4 plus 5 times 1.53. And this is equal to, let's see, 11.7 uh, meters per second. And this is equal to 7 times 1.53. And this is equal to 10.7 meters per second. So vector V is equal to 11.7 in the I direction plus 10.7 in the J direction in meters per second. So we want the magnitude of the vector. So 
the magnitude of the vector is the square root of 11.7 squared plus 10.7 squared and the square root of everything and this is equal to 15.8 meters per second the angle this is the answer of letter a right so for letter b we want the angle so the angle is equal to the tangent to the minus one of the y component over the x component so it is the tangent to the minus one of 10.7 over 11.7 and this gives us 42.6 degrees and also let's see 42.6 and also 222.6 degrees so this gives us two different answers and you have to choose which one is the correct one so this is the way to do that just draw your vector so in this case our vector is positive in the x direction and in the y direction so our vector is something like this and this of course is not 222 degrees this is of course 42.6 degrees so the correct answer is 42.6 degrees